think they're like having faith in something. I don't know. Faith is believing something and feeling very strongly about it. strong belief in something not necessarily even like religion but like just like to believe in something Everybody sing along moving what is it to be doing we've never seen faith vision but we love it What's up? This is Jeremy Camp. I've never seen Faith Vision TV, but I love it. Hi, we're Zoe Girl. And you're watching Faith Vision TV. So what does this mean to you? Ruben, what are you dippity doing? American Idol. Ruben, what are you dippity doing? And what do I think of that? What do you think of that? <laughs> I didn't really expect that, but um, um, I guess pretty much the same thing, yeah. American Idol, it is. Ruben, what are you dippity doing? I can't say that, man. Like <laughs> what do you think about this, Ruben? What are you dippity doing? Eating a sandwich. Oh, Ruben. Yeah. People been like, yo, Ruben. Where you been? Where you been the last couple years? I'm like, hey man, I ain't gone nowhere. I've just been marinating, serenading, percolating in the lab. So they're like, hey, yo, man, you know, where, where's hip hop going? I'm like, I don't know, but I'm here to take the game back. The game is officially mine. It's officially mine. Hold on. Now everybody sing along. Now everybody sing along. Ruben, what is he doing? Come on, ladies, sing it. Ruben, what is he doing? Big Go was quick to say he was better. And try to sever my integrity, please. You MCs need to quit it. I mean, do you really think that you're the only ones who get it? <laughs> and what is it we don't get, huh? Maybe that empty book bag that you sport as a gimmick to the Timberland boots that have never been scuffed. All the while, you're still hollering, rugged and rough. I call your blood. How you doing? It's Nick with Faith Vision. We're back with John Rubin. He's on tour with Falling Up and The Wedding and Mainstay. Mm -hmm. What's up, John? What's up, man? You living? Living good. Things have been good? Things have been real good. Cool. You look good. Well, thank you. <laughs> you look good as well. Yeah. <laughs> this new tour that you've been on, mm -hmm. how's it been going? Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, the tour, it's been good. Uh, it's um, been the following up, the wedding, and mainstay, and uh, myself. And uh, we're, uh, we've been, it's about a month and a half, so we're, um, I don't know exactly, probably by the time you guys show this, the tour will be over. But it's, um, we've got a couple weeks left at the moment of this episode being recorded. This interview, I should say. Sure. The new album, The Boy vs. Cynic. Yes, sir. Some people said that it's pretty witty. Witty? <laughs> it's a little more, like, deeper. Deeper inside mm -hmm. John. Mm -hmm. What would you have to say to that? <laughs> I don't... Deeper, deeper, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know if I'd say deeper. Actually, uh, I kind of, hmm. Sure, I guess so. I mean, it, it's, uh, I think it's a lot of the same things I've been talking about in every record. I think I might have just uh, put it in a way that um, is maybe a little more challenging, perhaps. So, yeah. Challenging so, people to. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know, I think on all, on all levels just more challenging when you, when you think about it, or perhaps. I don't know if I'd call it deeper, though. Okay. I didn't call it deeper, I was just repeating what an article said. Okay. But I'll take that, I think that's a compliment. Our last interview uh -huh. was pretty meat, like, it was meaty. We got we got into some things about God and yeah, faith yeah. and 
where you are sure. with what sure. you do and and uh, we actually had some pretty amazing feedback from oh, cool, man. from some older people. I think you know when I look back on everything I've worked on, I think a lot of times people um, they they sometimes confuse humor as being uh, juvenile or maybe not as mature. And I actually think uh, a lot of times humor drives home a point better than um, you know than even sometimes if you have a serious undertone to something. I've heard a lot of pointless lyrics being placed over supposed supposedly dark music, and it is essentially saying nothing. When you say more mature, uh -huh. more mature spiritually speaking, or? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, that's one of those things where I, I, I would hate to say that about myself, you know, cause I, you know if, if that's what people are picking up, you know, I, that you're like a spiritual yeah, like, guru or something. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't necessarily go and <laughs> listen to what I have to say, children. <laughs> no, but I think that uh, as a whole, um, you know, I, I think every album you just write from your heart and where you're at, and I think that, you know, you're, you'll connect with different patches of people. And, um, you know, my goal is to, you know, the people who've been listening to my stuff since the beginning is to keep them along and always try to branch out and gain, uh, gain new years. So here we are in the same old spot Knowing something needs to happen but our mouths are locked Tongue tied, close tied, sealed shut, yup I tried hard but it just wouldn't come up It's on the tip of my tongue, it's in the front of my mind Yet the words were still so hard to find <laughs> Finally the reality of things to come pushed me to the edge I jumped off the cliff into the abyss as I said I'm not trying to be a nuisance I just think we can do better than this That was simply my two cents You can, you can take it or leave it The conversation lingered on and on And before I knew it, night had turned to dawn And were we searching for the truth in all of it? Ha. Are we debating just to win the argument? Cause none of us wanna hear about where we go wrong This song could easily be from me to you or me to John Cause I have the potential to be the guiltiest huh? My greatest strength is also my strongest weakness I'm not trying to be a nuisance I just think we can do better than this That was simply my two cents You can, you can take it or leave it I'm not trying to be a nuisance I just think we can do better than this That was simply my two cents You can, you can take it or leave it Let's think about this path that we're taking Let's think about this future we're creating Let's think about this life that is fading <laughs> Think about it, come on, think about it now Let's think about this time that we're spending Investing in monetary things that are ending Let's think about it then, let's think together and Let's think about what we can do to make it better I'm not trying to be a nuisance I just think we can do better than this That was simply my two cents You can, you can take it or leave it I'm not trying to be a nuisance I just think we can do better than this That was simply my two cents You can, you can take it or leave it I'm not trying to be a nuisance I just think we can do better than this That was simply my two cents You can, you can take it or leave it I'm not trying to be a nuisance I just think we can do better than this That was simply my two cents You can, you can take it or leave it You can, yeah. we will do better than this We can, we will do better than this We can, we will do talking about uh, ministry back at home yeah yeah and uh, 
you said that the church that you belong to was a, a home group cell church. Well, they have they have home group cells, yeah. Okay. And, but because you're on the road so much, you don't have much involvement. It's it's been really hard, but I, I mean I, I love uh, you know I, I'm you know everyone knows that no church is perfect. I've just really you know, been able to find a home there, and um, so you know as much as I can stay plugged in. I do. But it's really hard. This you know? tour that you're doing right now mm -hmm. with uh, Falling Up is for feeding the hungry. They're, they are a sponsor of the tour. Uh, um, food for the hungry. Food for the hungry. Yes. And how, how are you benefiting that organization? Um. <laughs> you know? No, I know, I know. Uh, you know, I just, you know. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, I, I definitely not work there. Are you hungry? Uh, no, no. No, it, it's a great organization. I think that organization and a lot of other organizations, uh, you know, in that same vein, Compassion International and uh, I believe World Vision is one. Sure. I mean, I think for us, I mean, we have a we have a tough job because a lot of the demographic when you're you know high school and younger sometimes. Um, not to say that that's the only demographic that comes out, but you know, really. You know how it is when you're younger. You know, like you're not, you're just, you're not will. You know, your your ability to be aware on a, on a broader on a broader scale is it's a little more limited just because of you know just what you see every day and you know your world's kind of high school and perhaps youth group or you know, these sort of things and you know I think I think for us it's just you know I know for my goal because I speak with it every night is to is to just hopefully you know. You know, raise awareness to the fact that you know whether you're sponsoring a kid tonight or not it is um, our responsibility as believers that's what we say we are it's our responsibility to look out for those who who, um, who are less fortunate and to look out for those who are hungry and poor I mean that's not really like a, you know a fun little option that that's our responsibility I mean it's drilled in the New Testament in scripture I mean it's it's probably comes up more than anything and so for me it's just to raise that hopefully raise some awareness and get kids thinking you know so you know maybe some of them will sponsor a kid or maybe some of them will come back uh you know later on down the road and you know maybe that can just be an initial like what do you say seed planted or something but back to the original interview the first one i want to go back to the question about um, being like a father in the Lord to other people. I'm not saying that you're a father in the Lord to many people, or that you have people that call you like spiritual dad or something like that. But um, people that look up to you, or people that you're in relationship with, yeah. um, bringing them to another level. Like, are you involved in things like that at the church home? Or? You know, I, I wish I could get more involved. That's that's uh, the one downside. To always touring is you can't you can't. You know, you're not home for enough time to really get involved with those sort of things. So, I, my wife has had more opportunities than I've had. So I, I moved information from her, and just kind of she she's been able to go to some pretty incredible things. And I just kind of uh, take what she's uh, gotten. You know, so I'll, I'll ask her questions a lot of time about that stuff. For some of the and I know that's spiritually awkward and backwards <laughs> a little bit. You know, that a man would be. Uh, getting information from a woman. I mean, I understand that technically. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, technically, that's a little unbalanced and unproportioned. Uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> you, uh, you said that uh, sometimes you're on tour and you're you are married, so your wife gets to come with you, and um, sometimes here and there. She wasn't on the last one when we had our last yeah. interview. This one, she is yeah. here with you. Yes, she is. Uh, she's um. Behind the cameras, right over there. But you won't see her because the camera tried this way, and she tries that. Uh, she's hiding. So, <laughs> has it been good having her on this tour? Yeah, of course. Of course, absolutely. It's awesome. You had well, I couldn't answer that question honestly, even <laughs> if, uh, if it was the uh, the other side of the spectrum. That's nah, not that good. You have any children? No children. No children. No children. So you have the freedom to just. Oh yeah. This is a long-term honeymoon. 
Yeah, well, when she comes out on the road, it's it's been cool because uh, you know because of uh, just our you know with the uh, no responsibility with kids, you know we're we've been able to you know she can travel with us, but she works really close. Um, um, we work together with this as well. Yeah. She writes your lyrics. She writes the book, lyrics and some of the books. Yeah, all the all the party jams. She writes all the party jams. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You lay around all day, you watch music videos, you're not gonna be a professional rapper. You're never gonna be like the Marcel because you've got no enthusiasm, you've got no spirit. Why can't you be a little more like your sister? Like your sister. Like your sister. Tonight's the only night this night would take place. No time to waste. Let's not worry about time. Stop the clock. It's fine. Keep it at nine. I'm in the mood tonight. Just do the typical. I'm in the mood tonight. Just for the ritual. Even at the risk of being disabased or ridiculed. Pessimists be dismissed. There's no room for the cynical. Cause nowadays music's too political. And maybe just a bit too predictable. The repetition. 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 Man, I'm just kidding, or am I? I'll leave that for you to decide. Ha! Take it back like counterclockwise, no surprise. It's just that good old fashioned horseplay passion to keep the party cracking. Hey, move! Uh, uh, if you want to come uh, get it, just move! Uh, uh, go ahead and turn it up and move! Uh, just uh, raise the ball, you uh, do know what to do. Hey, you just move! Uh, uh, if you want to come uh, get it, just move! Uh, uh, go ahead and turn it up and move! Uh, just uh, raise the ball, you Frolicking through your metropolitan With some new ideas for my peers to wallow in But what I brought to the table was hard to swallow in You don't have a mind of your own and are only following Oh man, please don't call me conservative God creates, man just perverts it Even though I know I'm far from perfect I exercise my right to be creative when I word it Observe from a distance, come inside if you're inclined Feel the surge of the elements combined Jumpstart the system with unearthly wisdom More advanced than liberal thinking Yet older than tradition Sound nice? If not, check the sound device I think turning it up is sound advice Ha, that's yeah, right, go yeah, ahead, turn right. it up in Yeah, go ahead, turn hey, it up hey, in move, If move, you want to go get it, just move, move. the back to the middle end all the areas in between you're the one and only you to go ha, ahead and ha, do ha, yeah. the box we've been playing in is boring so let's step outside and start exploring i'm in a 91 chevy van touring if the spot's not hot we'll torch until it's scorching that's not a short thing more just some wording to make me sound good and pep up the recording according to my calculations if i'm correct good things lie directly ahead as the crow flies, so do I Straight to the point until I arrive Reporting live to your radio inside John Roo Reminding you to please remember hey. I can't do it, I can't do it Way to go, Ruben Dad, what are you doing here? Listen, son about the cheerleading. Yeah, I know, about the cheerleading. No, no. It's never good enough. No. Listen, I'm sorry I was hard on you, but you needed it. I know. I've been there. What do you know about being there? Dad, you were a cheerleader? Now get in there. 
get in there and show them you've got spirit. I'm going back. Fourth track on the new album, Follow Your Leader. Yeah. Can you give us some insight on that? Um, yeah, I, I think, um, you know, I, I wrote this song, um, obviously, you know, it's, uh, it's Watch based around taking, politics. You know. Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. I think I wrote that song around the time of just, um, you know, you know, the election time and, and the way people were um, kind of throwing agendas around and kind of got really, um, you want to believe in, um, in, in honesty and in truth, but it's it was a really, really confusing time, I think, because the media as a whole can kind of say what they want to say and do what they want to do and push their their agenda. And um, I think on both sides of the perspective, you know, whether it's the liberal media, the conservative media, you know, you know, even the Christian media, you know what I mean? And I, I think for me, I, I think it was more of a, just a song to myself and to other people who can just really, um, you know, search out what you're listening to and what information you're taking in and really don't, you know, think about it, you know what I mean? Ponder, pray about it, don't just, um, you know, don't just don't buy into something that easy because there, there's a lot more to things and, you know, there are real people and real emotions and, and uh, you know, you got to consider more than just yourself, you know, I, I, when it comes to that sort of thing. So I think, you know, that was the, the, the whole of that song. What do you do personally to uh, stay solid, you know, like to build up your faith in Christ and to stay strong, you know, because you're the head of your household and you guys are two made one, mm -hmm. you know. Um. You know, that's, that's one of those questions where, um, you know, sometimes you're, you're, uh, you know, it's uh, the relationship with God is, is has a lot of ups and downs, and and I think, um, you know, sometimes you don't feel as solid as you'd like to feel, and I, I actually don't think that's a bad place to be because I think, you know, I think a lot of times we, we put a lot of emphasis on ourselves and what we're able to do, and for me, all I can do is continually go before God and ask for His um, His wisdom in my life and and uh, on all levels, you know, whether it's with me and my wife or whether it's with uh, you know music or any decisions I'm making. But I, I don't ever feel solid, you know what I mean? I guess if that's the sense. I, I I always have the you know eerie understanding that I'm human and that without the grace of God and without His um, hand in my life, I I am capable of the worst imaginable things possible. I think, you know, always keeping that in mind, I think so many times people get way too confident in themselves and their abilities, and even Christians, um, sometimes get they get confused the difference between walking on their own strength and walking on the, the strength that God provides for you. All right, John. Thanks, man. That's it. Yeah, for now, right? What else? No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just this is Nick with Faith Vision. We're going to cut to John live at the Roten Press. And when the beat drops, I need to see. 
be as much ruckus as legally possible. Are you ready? Get your hands, get your hands, get your hands up. Get your hands, get your hands, get your hands up. Get your hands, get your hands, get your hands up. Get your hands. Word of mouth, this is why I 